Hello and welcome back to Dauntless. Today I want to present to you my double clip striker build, which is a very fun way to play strikers, especially if you don't like the handling or very small reach of the strikers that much. Because we are utilizing Bastion as an extra attack to keep our damage output flowing, which by the way is the reason for its name. The build itself is nothing too special, shield package, crit package and Berserker for extra base damage, which brings us to, down to 800 HP, however our shield will take care of our survival until of course we clap it into a, the behemoth. And this is what we are working with. We have the Agarus Strikers, which is also a um, tool of our survivability, because if we go down, we should simply revive ourselves. We can only do this every time uh, every five minutes though, but still it should be pretty enough. We will hardly go down if we manage our shield properly. In the Agarus Strikers we have one Berserker cell and one Galvanized cell. We are using the clap clash of t Crash of Titans or the Clap as we call it, the Cyclonic Strike Blade. And as a bind bound weapon, we have the Skarn Strikers. Just as I said, we are using the Bastion Omni Cell and the Skarn Lantern with Catalyst. As a helmet, we use the Nasher Cap with Parasitic. As chest, we are using Resikiri Armor with Catalyst. The gloves will be Boreas with Circa and the boots will be Trucks with Galvanized. As potions we have Bliss, Frenzy and Ether Drive. Ether Drive because we want to keep up our shield generation thanks to our lantern. We want to spam that lantern like nobody's business and keep ourselves alive that way. Brings us to a total of 6 Circa, 6 Cunning, 6 Catalyst, 6 Galvanized, 6 Tough, which doesn't do that much, although with 800 HP we still got 16% and we got it almost permanently because we hardly take any damage because we have shield. We have free Knockout King as a little support, just a sidekick. Not, not really that important, but we have it in the weapon that we bound into the Agarus Striker, so we can't exchange that though. And for healing, if we need to heal, and also for keeping our shield a little bit higher by um, preventing a huge loss, we are using the par free Parasitic. That's about it. Nothing special, like I said, but effective. And really fun to play, like I said, if you are not used to the Strikers or don't like their very, very unreliable handling. Anyway, let me show you how the build works. What's that? Stranger! Stranger Danger! Stranger Danger! So like I said, it's called a double clap and that's for a reason. As you can see, our shield increases more and more, and this was the first clap, and this will be the second clap. So we have two claps that we can, like, fire in a row. Very often, not most of the time, but every time it's possible, and that will be our damage output, and also the Bastion Cell will help us repositioning, like if we stand here and we just don't reach that freaking behemoth, because we have a reach of a cat fart, we can just use Bastion to maybe put, uh, bring in that little last push that we need to stagger it or something. Alrighty, let me take you to a few fights. We're level 14, that's pretty enough for the Twilight Refuge. Let's wreck some behemoth's faces, right? Holy.
All right, let's see what we got here. We have a level 19 Thunder Deep Trask. Perfect. He might kill us one time. Maybe. Don't forget to take your potions. And let's get into it. Just like that, staggered and BAM! And he's down to a quarter in no time. As you can see, our life is hardly endangered. There's just nothing they can do. We have our life up the whole time. Five levels above us. Pretty dangerous behemoth, especially for beginners. No chance to this build. It's just outright ridiculous. For normal casual gameplay, this is just simply perfect. We even have some potion duration left, so we can just take on the next one here. Lay down, please. Thank you. Ow. Oh, he's coming. I missed him. What? That's what I mean. Have you seen me striking the air there? This strikers, man. They have freaking no reach. This is getting annoying. Let's put up some safety. I'm fighting without potions at the moment. That's why it took so long. But as you've seen, still was no problem. He gave us a little scratch there at the end. But we just healed it out with Agarus. So that you have seen this ability too. And it was no problem at all. Let's take on the third one. Just for fun. For the sake of it. By the way, the Terra Elemental Effect is also a layer of our defense because it can heal us if there is need to. Damn it. Damn it. Get over here. Thank you! That's what I mean. These strikers, man! High damage output, but the reach, the reliability, it's just a case of its own. Alright, I think the best example was the very first one, the level 19 Thunder Deep Trask. You've seen what the build is able to do. 
Now, there's nothing more that I can say. Let me show you the build again. Agarus Strikers, one Circus Cell, one Galvanized Cell, the Titans Crash, the Cyclonic Strike Blade, and the Scan Strikers as Bounding or Binding or whatever. The Bastion Omni Cell with the Scan Lantern with Catalyst in it. Then the Nasher Cap with Parasitic. The Resakiri Armor with Catalyst. Boreos Gloves with Circa and the Trax Boots with Galvanized. Bliss Frenzy Ether Drive and there you go. Have fun with it though and don't forget to check the video description for further information, general information. And yeah, have a good one. See you next time. Bye.